Hello, my name is Andy Dalton. I'm a physical therapist here at North Oaks Rehabilitation Services. I have a doctorate degree in physical therapy. I have nearly 28 years of experience uh, and I'm a specialist in back and neck injuries. And I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about some issues associated with working at home. So with the pandemic that's going on, a lot of people are now working at home and running into a, a variety of different issues. So working at uh, a kitchen table has been problematic. It, maybe not the best of working environments, uh, hard to get things set up appropriately, and certainly sitting there for a long time at the kitchen table can create a lot of problems for your neck and back. Heaven forbid that you're working out of your lazy boy, that would be even worse. So we have a few points that I'd like to share with you that might be, make things a little bit easier for you. We call them the three P's. The first one is posture. Be aware of your posture when you're working at home. It's simple things, like make sure you're upright. You can take a towel, roll it up, tape it together, rubber band it together, and stick it behind your lower back, right above your belt line, and it kind of reinforces you to sit upright. You want to make sure your chin is back and not way out over your sh out in front of you. And you want to make sure your feet and your knees, your feet are flat on the floor, and your knees and your hips are at 90 degrees. That will help your posture a great, a great deal. The other thing that you can do, the, other, the next P, is make sure that everything is positioned correctly. Like your, your monitor, you want it to be about hand, one arm length away. You want to make sure your eyes are not too high or too low. You want it to be about level. And you want to make sure that your keyboard and your monitor are all in line. You don't want your monitor off to the side to where you're looking in an odd direction. That would not be helpful for your neck or your back. And then the last thing is change your position up frequently. If you're like me, you get engrossed into a project and three or four hours go by and you get, go to get up and suddenly you realize, hey, my neck and my back are awfully sore. But if you just simply watch your posture throughout your, your working time, maybe set a timer to go off like every 15 minutes or so to do a little quick posture check. Fix things, get re-situated, uh, set the timer to go again, and 15 minutes, check it again. But even then, every hour or so, just get up and move around. Uh, take a break. Don't stay in that one position for an extended period of time. It will make things difficult for you. But then even beyond that, exercise. You know, you're at home uh, and it's easy to get into a, a bad routine of working and, and not taking care of yourself. We want you moving. We want you outside exercising. Try to get away from the work environment as much as you can, even though it's in your home environment. So there are three really basic exercises that I can show you. One's for your neck, one's for your mid-back, and one's for your lower back. So the first one for your neck is, again, if you find that, uh, I've been here a little bit too much and my neck's sore, it's a very simple exercise. All you do is sit up nice, tall and proper, and look straight ahead. Put a finger on your chin. This is kind of like your start finish line. You just put it right here. And all you do is take your chin straight back, hold it for a one, two count, and then back again. So, and you do about 10 repetitions. So it's back, hold it one, two, and then here. And every time you go back, try to go back a little bit further. And you'll feel a stretch. That's normal that you feel some discomfort here. But when you get here, that discomfort should largely go away. Then you can even take a couple of fingers and push it back further. Now some people tend to kind of be downies and some people tend to be uppies. Try to make it go straight back. And again, you'll feel that stretch and when you let off the stretch, it should largely go away. That can help a lot with this, this posture and just taking some of the stress and, uh, stress and tension associated with that. Another stretch, if you find that you're here too much, a good mid-back stretch is like just sitting up nice and tall. Put your hands behind your head and neck nice and comfortable with your elbows pointing forward. And all you do is take the, your elbows in the center of your chest and try to look up at the ceiling, hold it a one, two, and come back down. It's a big stretch. You're definitely going to feel this in your mid-back. And again, you do about 10 repetitions. So you take it up, you hold it one, two, and then back down. And every time you go up, you try to go a little bit further with it. Just a one, two, and back down. And again, this stretch, this stretch, you can do these stretches multiple times throughout the day, no problem, and they will help you. So the third exercise you can do if you've been sitting for a while or working from home and your lower back's getting sore, an exercise you can do is put your hands on your hips, nice and tall and standing, and you just simply lean back, hold it a one, two, and then come back up to neutral. 
and do it again 10 times and every time you go back hold it that two count and every time you go back try to go back just a little bit further with it you'll feel the stretch and it might be again a little bit uncomfortable back here but when you get back to your starting position that stretch sensation should largely go away but this is a good way to counteract all the badness is created by sitting in a poor posture throughout the day. So this is a good quick one to try. 10 repetitions, again, several times throughout the day. So these are just some quick, simple exercises that you can do at home, at the workplace, and see if it helps you, helps you out as far as your neck and back and discomfort that you might be have associated with working at home. For more information or to schedule an appointment, give us a call at 985-303-2884 or visit us at www.northoaks.org.